Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Kinda Cooking with Cal. Um, it's kind of cooking with Cal because you guys, I'm not a chef, but I do like to eat and I like to try to eat healthy things. So we get creative. Basically, we try to follow our 10% protein ratio, meaning if it's um, 400 calories, we want it to have 40 grams of protein. If it's 300 calories, we want to have to 30 grams of protein. We follow this a lot in the group because it makes getting results simple. It's amazing when you guys start doing this, you'll realize that no longer do you have to count carbs and worry about all the other things. Literally, for the majority of people, People, if they stick to this general thumb, they're going to get results, okay? So, Courtney, thank you for joining us. First step with Kind of Cooking with Cal, I need a chef hat. What do you guys think? I'm like, I think if you guys could just tell me where to get a chef hat, that'd be a great addition to the sequence, but let's just throw our little hair up so we can get ready. Michelle Graver, get ready to make the best turkey panini, well, healthiest and good, or maybe a grilled cheese sandwich. No, she ain't how are you, my dear? Um, Witten is my sous chef today, so we do that a lot, and Quincy was gonna help me, but he's gone. Okay, first let's talk ingredients, all right? Um, first thing first, the, the essence of this, um, deli turkey. So this one, I, I always do the boar's head. Actually, this is boar's head chipotle chicken. We try all sorts of different deli meat. Um, I like it thinly sliced. My husband got it sliced too thick for me. This is too thick for me, but you guys slice it however you like. Okay, so we've got this way over 10% protein ratio. There's gonna be 90 calories of this in my sandwich for about three ounces. The next thing is gonna be the cheese. All right, I'm gonna switch it up today. I've been doing the ultra thin Swiss for 40 calories a slice in this, but I thought I'd just switch it up for you guys to show, cause uh, Velveeta melts really well. This is that 2% milk Velveeta, which is almost a 10% protein ratio. So for, you do like a little fourth inch slice, it's 60 calories and five grams of protein. So it's gonna, like the turkey will compensate. So I'm gonna try that today. And that's how I'm gonna teach you about the grilled cheese. Okay. Um, so we've got the turkey, we've got the cheese, your choice, all right? Um, then this is the key here. And I don't know, I'm not sure how long this is gonna be in stock. I don't know why it was around. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways, because maybe you have access. We found this, okay, when we go to the grocery store, you guys, Anytime we see something that looks new or interesting, we grab it, we turn it around, I look at the, the protein. Because even though this is keto bread, I have no idea what that means to the marketers of this. Because some people don't even understand what keto is. They think low carb is keto, not the truth. High fat, low carb, medium protein is keto. So they don't even know what they're doing. So you gotta read the label, right? So I turn this over, over I read the label. 40 calories for me, for my right fit purposes. If that's got four grams of protein, I'm like, cha-ching, hit my 10% protein ratio. Never happens, right? Even my Sara Lee uh, 45 calorie bread is 45 with three grams. Ah. Close, but not quite there. Witten wants this. Here, you can have it. This one, 40 calories, four grams of protein, you guys. So this is not high fat. In fact, it's just... What? It's high protein. I don't know why they call it keto. We can't see it. Come help me do my cooking first. You make your grilled cheese and I'll make this. Okay, a lot of fiber in this. That's why they call it keto because they're canceling out the carbs for the whatever. So anyways, a lot of fiber is gonna be in this uh, 14 grams. If you're gonna do this, don't do a crazy amount. Like don't do multiple sandwiches every day or you're not gonna have the shit. Poop, whatever, you guys got me, okay? So I'm gonna do the keto bread. If you don't have access to the keto bread, Kinsey, she still likes the wellness tortillas. Remember, extreme wellness, these are the tortillas, the jam, the bees, knees, and then it's only gonna have 50 calories in it or you can make a full sandwich. I know it's not open already, right? Because we're doing cooking with Cal. Kind of cooking with Cal. Will you come kind of cook with me? Hey, no, no. We're not doing that. Hey, where's your, where's your pants though? No, 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 you can't cook with me if you're not wearing pants. <laughs> it's fine, keep watching. We're still on. You love you. I do not, you Quincy. Oh. oh, I'm such a mean mom. I locked him inside. You gotta put pants on if you, you wanna be in the video you, though. So. You don't want to be, I did lock it. Are you gonna cook a grilled cheese with me? Yeah. This is literally how my household is. Well, let's see, maybe you can't see his butt. It's gotta be, ah, totally appropriate. You can't even see his butt. Who needs pants? Not us. Okay, so now we've got our turkey, our cheese, um, this stuff. Now, any accents you like for sandwiches, right? So I have little cherubs. I'm gonna do a couple of those on here. Um, I did not put this in the ratio for the calories today. I'm gonna do a little avocado because I need more fat. Um, because I'm still making massive amounts of breast milk. So I'm gonna do that. Or if you just need more calories and fat in your diet, great option. Um, and then I'm gonna do some pickles on the side. 
for me, the different things I'm gonna put on there, I showed you guys this once already. It's a waste of calories, it really is. But it's so dang good, all right? So this is the Ingelhofer Sweet Hot Peppers Mustard. Dang, I love it. Um, and then, or you can just do like regular mustard. In the contents for today, I put a little bit of light mayo. You can skip the light mayo, but you know what? They have it, we bought it for a healthy spinach dip we made. And I had it on one of my sandwiches. I'm over here finding it. You guys are like, where are you? Um, so it's not good for you. It's not, it's like 35 extra calories just wasted, but it kind of switches up the sandwich a little bit. Okay, so there's my ingredients. Kind of we can cook them with cow. You guys ready? I may or may not have had a garage sale recently because my husband decides he does storage wars. Did you guys know this? So he buys storage units and because he sees like a flight simulator in it and then he's, he, he sells said simulator or doesn't. Does anybody need a simulator? Um, but other ones have worked out really well. And then, right, I love mom life. I know, exactly, Michelle, it's crazy. Um, so then we get, we end up with all the stuff, like so much stuff. So we're doing a garage sale and I'm out there producing the garage sale and I was like, oh yeah, look at my results. Look at Quincy just pulled these out of the cabinet. There's me, post baby. There's me, post, 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 post baby. Anyway, that's not me now. Still gotta get that six pack back or not. And I'm not sure if I want it. So we'll see. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna be cooking while I'm telling you guys this story. Um, so we've got John Carroll, right? He's doing storage work. So I'm out there shopping my own garage store because I have the worst kitchen accent pieces ever. Like somebody comes over and like, do you have a pan? Like, no, I don't have a pan. Should I have a pan? Because I just don't have a pan. Um, by the way, I think that I need a pan from Chef Velveeta cheese cutter. I was trying to pre-cut this fourth ounce. Look at, that's my cutting job, you guys. Like literally, I just had it like spread all over there because Velveeta cheese, as it turns out, unless you have that one little thing with the, what's that called? Like it's the roller and it's got that little wire and you just go shh and it makes the perfect little slices. I ain't got one of those. So mine looks like a cluster muck. We're gonna call it a cluster muck. So anyways, I'm gonna spread that on my bread first. Just maybe like lay a little it out. Um, at the same time, sorry, pausing the story. I'm gonna show you guys, this is crazy. My sandwich is gonna be 275 calories and 33 grams of protein. Okay, the way that I'm gonna make it. Um, like I said, you have some different options in here. But they, then I was looking at this. Quincy might want a grilled cheese. I'm gonna go back to the panini press. Don't worry, you don't have to have one to make the sandwich. I'm gonna make Quincy a grilled cheese with this bad boy. He doesn't get that much fiber in, right? He's a kid, he's not like chomping on lettuce. So if you take two pieces of this with your exact portion, your one fourth cup of your cottage cheese, you could have a grilled cheese for 140 calories. I chopped it. You did. If it's 140 calories, how many grams of uh, protein should it have to be 10% protein ratio? Somebody, anybody, tell me. These videos aren't very interactive, right? It's because you're not here. I'm here, you're not here. And then I can't hear you talking. If I could, then you'd be answering me right now. But somebody's gonna answer. If it has 140 calories, then I would want it, quote unquote, to have a, um, what is it? 14 grams of protein? This baby's gonna have 13 grams of protein. So literally, I can make Quincy's grilled cheese sandwich for almost a 10% protein ratio. He's a child, he doesn't need that. But I'm gonna, yes, look at your answers, winning! Um, but what about you? What if you're like, one day you're like, I kind of want a grilled cheese. That's like a total thing that I wouldn't have normally. I'm just going to take the grill, the cheese in there. Watch, because he only needs a halfer. Yeah, look at that. Looking pretty good. Um, and I'm going to throw it on my panini press. So there's that. Anyways, so you guys were saying, are you using butter for his? Yeah, because he also needs more fats. So this is going to be a real delight. I just left a piece, just like a wad of butter on it. And that. Okay, so Quincy's is going in. This is going to be good. You're doing it. Oh, Quincy. That's Quincy's. But you can make a grilled cheese, 140 calories, whatever. Um, okay, so we've got, we've got my cheese on there, and then I'll get back to the panini press uh, story. All right, so I'm out there, and I find all this cool stuff, this kitchen stuff, and I was like, I'll take that, I'll take that. So now I've got like cookie drying racks. I'm gonna put on three ounces of turkey while we're chatting here. I've got cookie drying racks, maybe for my protein cookies or not protein cookies. I've got bread pans. I made those protein brownies the other day in them. Turn around. I'm making a sandwich. Okay, so I got my turkey. You guys are thinking, did you wanna like see better? Did you wanna see what I was doing better? Or do you even care? Are you like just watching the cluster that, that is? because y'all are sticking around. Mm -hmm. Now you can't mm -hmm. see me, but you can see Wit and he'll do the cooking, okay? There's my sandwich station. So, um, 
So anywho, right, I ended up picking up this panini press. Now, you don't have to have a panini press to make this whatsoever. I just have been, like, intrigued, so I've been utilizing it. Um, you could easily just throw this on a pan and do pan seared, or you could broil it, right, where you just put it in the oven and put it on broil, watch it close, and cook it for just, like, literally a couple minutes. So I've got my turkey. I've got my cheese. I'm going to put on my little tomatoes. What other cooking shows they do is they actually like prep the food beforehand, but I want you guys to see this is real life and it's also real quick if you're not real chatty like I am. I love little tomatoes. Does anybody else garden out there? We are um, in our garden basically this year. We're almost only doing tomatoes because they were so phenomenal last year. We are putting them everywhere in every food. Okay, so that looks pretty tasty, right? I'm going to add for me, I'm going to, Oh, do I do the mayonnaise? Do I not do the mayonnaise? Do I do the mayonnaise? I'm going to just do a little bit of the mayonnaise. So I said tablespoon. I'm not even going to use that much. I'm just going to do a light amount of the bread. Probably just a waste of calories right there. Pick it. Don't pick it. Whatever. But this, this baby's my jam. This hot, sweet mustard. Ugh, I'm so strong. Witten. So I'm going to grab that baby. Spread it around. Now Quincy can't eat it because this is spicy mustard. P.S. So I've got that guy. Let's check on Quincy's sandwich. Oh my God, it exploded everywhere. It looks delightful. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll pull that out one second after I finish mine. So I've got that, 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 uh, avocado. Do I do it? Do I not do it? Do I do it? Do I not do it? I'll do it. This avocado is actually for Whit and John, which is why, oh my gosh, it's way too old. Skip the avocado. You guys, would you eat that? I'm skipping it, taking a total pass. All right, so there's my sandwich, y'all. I'm gonna pop this baby, oh no, my onion! <gasps> I've gotta have onion, you guys. I'm an onion person, so let's just show you. Watch out, baby on fire. Do not, do not put the baby in the oven. Don't worry, I would never burn my baby, by the way. That's like a cheese crisp. Oh, he's gonna love that. Try to recreate this, I dare you. Watch this, it's now a cheese wrap. Oh, who's smart? I'm smart. Just stand there, I gotta go get my onion. This is important. So, I don't know where you guys keep your onions, but I keep mine in a closet over there. So, and I had a baggie of them, I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm just gonna chop me off a little piece of onion to throw on there, just right off the side. Look at that. Couple little onion slices. Slice it up, dice it up. Don't let it hurt little Whit and John's eyes. And, um, what I would be doing if I didn't have this delectable panini press is I would be throwing this on the oven right now. I am going to give it a little shoddy shot of this. I can't believe it's not butter just so that it um, doesn't. Oh, I don't know what that means. I've never seen green lights go on before. Set upper, sear. No, don't sear. Do you know what it means? No. It's our first time using it. It gets really hot too, by the way. Okay, give it a little flips it too. Get that in there, stick this tomato back. Witten's like, what is happening, mom? This is so exciting. Ha ha. Um, I really don't know what's going on. I, I, Looks I like just, it's cooking. Yeah, but wasn't it just on red before? Or well, maybe it just like got to that heat. heat. Upper plate, rear plate, okay, whatever. Maybe it means it's warm. It could mean that it's warm. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so now my sandwich is cooking. You guys know what I always do while we're finishing up our video. I clean up my mess because I want to go to you. Don't. I Simply stunning, you guys. Simply, simply gorgeous. Yes, Nikki does it. See, Nikki does the same. She drinks the pickle juice. Um, I think that I should have like a spatula, but I don't. So um, I'm just gonna do this. Watch it, watch it, throw it. Boom. Unplug it, don't we, Kings? Unplug it every single time. Now, look at my sandwich. That's some of Quincy's cheese. Ha ha. I'm gonna cut this baby in a diagonal. If you like lettuce, which I do normally, but this is a hot sandwich, I didn't want lettuce in it, then you could go through and you could um, put some lettuce in the sandwich afterwards. Maybe I will, because it'll look so pretty. But look at how pretty it looks inside. Ah! And um, I'll grab my couple pickles. I'll plate it, I'll take a picture. I'd probably have a little side of cottage cheese with this, because that sounds delectable as well, or maybe a carrot. 
Um, guys, kind of cooking with cow. Tell me what you guys want me to try to make. I'd love to hear. So now we've got healthy macaroni and cheese. We've got all sorts of healthy other dinner options. We have healthy-ish, right, grilled cheese. This is only off by one gram of protein. So if you simply had um, a little bit of cottage cheese with it, you'd break it up to the ratio, right? If you had a little bit of Greek yogurt, you'd bring yourself right up on the 10% rate protein ratio. This is how easy it is. You guys, you might think that getting results is hard. It's not. It's delicious. It's fun. It's simple. It's easy. Um, we do it all the time. And when I do my shakes for my, like a couple meals, a day this makes this so simple so today i'm having I had my shake for breakfast actually a mug cake it looked freaking fantastic by the way um, i'm having this i'm gonna have some more snacks i'll have another shake this afternoon um and depends on your plan how that works right so reach out to whoever invited you to this group if you don't know what you're doing yet and if you haven't tried our different resources because it makes it so much easier they can help supply you with all those different things Ooh, which and john look at those um and that's all we have Questions? Report back? Anything? All right. Kind of cooking with cow. Another episode. Checked out. Episode. See you guys. Episode? Another episode. Checked out. Did it twice. Ha. <laughs>